integers on a number line. Integers are whole numbers that can be either positive or negative and they have no fractional parts, no decimals and no fractions. We already know how to use a number line starting at zero and continuing on to the right indefinitely. These are what we call positive numbers and we use them to count a quantity or to measure how much of something we have. For example, how much do you have in your wallet? We might have $5. This is a positive number. But there are more numbers that sit to the left of the zero. These are our negative numbers and are the opposite of our positive numbers. Negative numbers are used to represent what we don't have or as a scale less than zero. For example, if I have no money in my wallet and I owe you $5, I would say that I have negative $5. Credit cards also work using negative numbers because they show what we owe and not what we have. When we pay off some of our credit card, it brings our total closer to the zero. But when we spend more on our credit card, it moves further away from the zero. If we completely pay off our debt and start saving money, we would move into positive integers. Another way of using negative integers in action is looking at sea level. Here's my ocean. Zero is sea level. Anything below is below sea level using negative integers. If I'm a submarine and I dive down below the seas, you could measure how far below sea level I was using negative integers. This submarine is currently four meters below sea level, or we could say negative four. If I climbed a mountain, you could also measure my height above sea level using positive integers. Another way we can use both positive or negative integers is looking at temperature. Zero is the freezing temperature of water. So if we have a look at a day, we could have a freezing cold morning of minus five degrees Celsius. But by lunchtime, it has warmed past the zero to 20 degrees Celsius. This is using both positive and negative integers to look at measurement. So basically an integer is any whole number that can either be positive or negative. Is a fraction an integer? No. Is a decimal an integer? Definitely not. Positive and negative whole numbers are what we call integers. To find an integer on a number line, you first have to decide if your number is positive or if it's negative. Positive numbers are always found to the right of the zero on a horizontal number line, while negative numbers are found to the left. On a vertical number line, our positive numbers are always found above the zero and our negative numbers are the opposite. They're found below the zero on a vertical number line. Let's have a go at plotting some integers on the number line. Remembering our first step is to work out whether our numbers are positive or negative. If they've got a minus sign in front of them, they are negative numbers and they're found to the left. If they don't have any sign in front of them, they're positive and they're found to the right. Let's look at our first one now. We have five, which is positive five. We find our zero on our number line and we look to the right. We're going to do five jumps to the right to find number five. Our next number is minus five or negative five. We're going to look to our zero and we're going to look to the left of our zero to find our negative numbers. It's minus five or negative five, so we're gonna do five jumps to the left. Our next number is zero. Zero is found right in the middle of our positive and negative numbers. The next one is negative 13. Again, it's got that minus sign. We're going to look for our zero in our number line and then we're going to look to the left and we're going to make sure we do 13 jumps to the left to find that negative 13. Our next number is 11. It's positive, so it's to the right of our zero in our number line. We're going to do 11 jumps. The next one, minus 7 or negative 7, found to the left of our zero. We're going to be doing 7 jumps to the left in the negative direction. The next one, easy one, number one. It's found right next to our zero to the right. Our last number is negative two. So it's negative, so it's found on the left-hand side and it's two jumps away from the zero. We use both positive and negative integers in lots of different ways in our day-to-day -day life. 
This table shows a few examples of how we use integers, both negative integers and positive integers. You can pause the video now to read through this list.